know what? None of these songs, none of these songs do better than this one for the intro. I wish I could use this one, but I have to talk over it to use it. Fantastic song. Just reminds me of those um, 80s, those 80s uh, adventures where the title scroll, scrolls across the screen saying, Adventurer played by the special star. Mm. Uh, anywho, so we last time left off with, let's see here, we. Ended off on this guy, where we had the camera panning up to the egg, and I did a little quick render of it. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Do, 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 do. That. Ah! <laughs> Should do that. How is it? I don't appear online. <laughs> well, there it is. Ah! Um, so last time we left off, we had the camera panning up to the egg. Uh, there's been a few changes that I've done with the, with the animation already, and I've already added some more animation in. I've only got, like, uh, today and tomorrow to work on the bulk of it. So, we've, I've definitely got to get moving on this. But, I do want to show you guys how this is coming along. So, we're going to go ahead and give this a little playthrough. Genfire! How you doing? Yeah! Yeah, the, you can see the, the run-through of it, and it's almost full glory. But this is the animation that we have so far. How long will it take to render out the full animation? Eh, just a couple hours. With Eevee, it'll just take a couple hours at least.
that is the video so far. Love the sound design on that. And there was a bunch of things that I needed to fix because of that. Um, yeah, that is the animation so far. And I got a little bit left to go. I've, I'll show you guys that. I'm going to show you the, some of the uh, mistakes that were made for this. So an odd thing about this... Um, listen to this. The thunder comes in a little bit late when the portal comes in. I don't know why it does that, but I had the waveform here, but if I have this extended out, just this little tab right here extended out, it makes the thunder off. But if I bring that tab in, I didn't change where the thunder happens. I just changed on where the the sound, the file begins. It's all fine. No idea what's happening there, but I'm glad I was able to at least predictably fix it instead of just uh, mash fix it. So the thunder comes in at the right time. I did change up this point right here. When Puka starts getting tortured by Jeff, I added some lights into his eyes. These guys right here. So uh, when the eyes do glow, there's going to be at least a light source that comes out of it. If I don't have these light sources, uh, Eevee can, does not give a light source out of emission things. So right now it doesn't have a, a uh, emission from the it does not have illumination from the emission texture so i have got to put in lights in order to make sure that there's lights there so it's both sh uh, casting light on his chest on his face and even over a little bit here on the switch as uh the lights go up and then i just have that tied to the other texture so that way they time at the same thing this guy right here had a problem before. Uh, as he opened up the door, there was a bit of light. You see this little white dot here? Uh, as the thing camera comes in, I make sure that that light just disappears. So I get rid of the light. Uh, so that way the light isn't seen throughout the entire scene. There's just this weird floating light for no reason. Also, a problem that I had is a uh, do 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 thingy that I had to fix. Ah, there it is. Thingy that I had to fix that I forgot completely about is that all the lights, every single one of these lights up here. Let me zoom on out. Every single one of these lights, all of them, all of those lights were not casting shadows for for objects that touched each other and it was called a collision shadow and it was it was not showing up so you see here there is no shadows on the feet at all there is absolutely no shadows so i had to fix that fix that and now as we go into this now all the shadows happen when the feet touch the ground and i also added in a little bit more of the of the a little bit more crisper light they're not completely crisp which i don't want them to be but as you can see down here with whoop i don't want the the camera please not the camera all right and right down here with the shadows they're kind of fuzzy but that's the way that i want them to be i want them to be a little bit fuzzy but they're distinguishable like this is a shadow from a bush and this is a shadow from the from the ground. Before, I had a little problem with that too, as it just shows not. It just has a faded shadow for the leaves and a less faded shadow for the ground and such forth. So that had to change up too. Add in the emission for the eyes, and yeah. Those were the things that I changed. While I was, I did some also some animations. So here we're gonna check this guy out. Go into this view. Uh, no, that not that one. This one. 
Mm, that. Mm, what is holding back my time? I think it's this guy. Get rid of that guy. Don't need that guy. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay. Apparently having a video open really kills my frame rate for playback on Blender. So I brought the camera up here and I extended a little bit more animation. So now I have Puka coming up the stairs. And that's about it as much as I've done so far. That's about it. Uh, seeing it bit by bit, you really... <laughs> You don't really see the full effect until it's played. Your attention to the oil is off the chart. I thank you, thank you very much, Jen. Um, well, the funny thing is, is that nobody else sees sees the real the real thing until I until I play it out for everybody else because, of course, I see it, but nobody else will see it. I look at a box and going. Oh man, that would be a cool fort. And everybody else goes, it's it's a it's a box. Ah, but that's the power of imagination. The power of imagination. But yeah, I have I have him slowly going up the steps, nice and quietly. And I also have this little uh, mushroom down here, twitching a little bit. Twitch, twitch. Twitch. <laughs> just some just some creepy effect that um, that helps set that there is some sort of corruption inside of this area. So now that we've gotten that, we need Puka to start coming up over the pedestal. Mm, do, 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 do. Yeah. Let's go over to Puka. Oh, music back in and. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Gotta love that song. Just a great, really good song. All right. Um. All right. So we have Puka climbing up the stairs. And then let's go ahead and grab a few of these limbs here. And we're going to, uh, we're going to lock, rock, scale them on the last frame of that camera. Okay. Actually, let's lock, rock, scale all of it, just in case. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Go back to the selection of all the moving bones. And then let's move this guy right up to here and nope oh. over there we go perfect that's what we want all right let's see how that works now sometimes when i add extra keyframes in some other animations accidentally show up Not what I was desiring. Okay. Delete keyframes. There we go. Mm. Hmm. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, there's not there's not too much of a change in speed there. Yeah, when I added some extra keyframes after camera movement. Sometimes things don't go quite right. How much time do you think you will take to finish the S animation? I don't know. I'm hoping that it'll take me just two more days. So today and tomorrow. I'm hoping. Hoping. Um, I also added in a couple more buttons. And I added a few more sounds to them as well. So that way it'll Puka at don't least forget crack. your avatar E. Avatar E. I don't know what your avatar E is. Pretty don't your avatar E. Avatari. 
Avatari. Atari? Like as in the video game Atari? <laughs> uh, save. Um... All right, I did did remind me to put on the screen cap keys though. Wally, <laughs> we don't see you on screen. Oh, oh, that right? Yes. Oh gosh, I can't believe I forgot that. All right, media, stream resources. That's what I get for not using my checklist, eh? I should be using my checklist all the time. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Ah. Uh, most of these sounds are for from a single game. I'd love I'd love it if anybody actually knew what the sounds were from. <laughs> because these sounds are just absolute music to my ears. Uh let's see here. What do we want to start off with? Uh, Zodiac. Um, kind Kitten. I haven't seen Kind Kittens in a little while, which is basically mine with just a, uh, a metal on. Ooh. They don't pop up. I'm wondering, did I put on the, did I put on the cape? Mm. Mm, do, 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 do. Free camera mode. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, I put on the cape too. Huh. Okay. I uh, was curse. Go back to position two. And there we go. Yeah, I apparently have on the cape as well. That uh, kind kitten has. Dress up. Yep, that has all the thingies, including all the ZF things. Alright, and then... I think what we can do is we can grab these... Uh, bones. That outfit is not, not looking, looking too, too hot right, right now. now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh my gosh! Who are we changing into? <gasps> Zed made. It's a popular one. Oh my gosh. Everybody just likes to see me in a made outfit. Don't know why. Zed. Zed made. Nork. There we go. <laughs> You're pandering to Jen there. You are pandering to Jen. Not that that wasn't pandering to Jen is a bad thing. I'm just making it obvious that that is what you're doing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We want over here, and we want this bone over here, and we want this bone up here. So, all right. Do mm -hmm. do 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 do. Get rid of this guy. Actually, let's grab this guy and put him here. Uh, no. Let's not do that. There. Much better. Okay. And that arm doesn't have too far to, to, to wander. And then let's go ahead and move about this body as though he's still... Climbing some stairs. Get rid of that keyframe. And then let's wobble this way, wobble that way, and a little too much wobble, too much wobble. Okay. And then back again. Oh no. Yeah, that works. That works perfectly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okaskat, Okaskat, mini game, battle royale, battle royale. Do 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 do. Battle royale. Do 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 do. E. Is that right? 
probably sure that's not right. Oh, that is right. Ah. Oh, apparently I forgot the E on the end of that, uh, that little thing. One of those games that I can win as a streamer, because I don't need to worry too much about... Oh no, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be winning this anyways. Pop. Oh, no. Oh. I almost lived. Oh. Amara and Hutchies. Such is down. <laughs> yeah, at least you took out me. All right, and let's move on up still further. Okay, and then lean off to the left, right. Okay. And then continue to move upward, but not as much. And, oh, upward, upward, but not as much. Rotating. Let's bring this right and this left. Okay. Okay, good. And then the final approach for here, which is right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be right about here and then look up. Rotate this a little bit, and then the hands gotta come up. The hands gotta come up, yo. <laughs> Jen, you are on fire today. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized that that was a bad pun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jen, you are on fire. Huh? <laughs> uh. Right? I'm gonna just basically have to stick my nose in it and to get my hands to actually collide with the thing. There we go. There we go. And then let's get this guy in there too. All right. Okay. Oh, all right, so that should be everything, right? No. That's not everything. These are going up way too soon. Let's bring you back. Settle down there, Puka. You don't need to grab for it just yet. Yep, still too quick. Right about here, too. Back up. Don't. Grab for it yet. Not yet. Not yet. Mm. And this thing can start looking downward. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Awesome, and now we switch over to something else.
which is why I have actors. Let's see here, Fox player. We have the egg here. And now what we can do, what we can do. Uh, right here is where I think I'm going to transfer over this egg to be parented to another thing, which would be this ban. This ban. Hold tab, go to this bone. Yeah, let's go to this bone. It's probably the best thing for it. Uh, bone relative, there we go. Um, I think what's going to be best is if I duplicate this collection and then I also parent it to something, parent this one to something else as well. So let's go into the bone layers. Let's parent this one. So we're going to have this guy parent to that guy. Bone relative. Okay. So just in case, I have a second one in backup for parenting. So there we go. And then this guy is going to disappear at this point. So let's see here. This one appears now. Lock rock scale, okay. And the other one, the other egg, that one, that one disappears at this point. So it will go bye bye and delete keyframes. Delete key these keyframes too. Oof, have all these keyframes. Delete keyframes. Okay. Okay, good. And then the one that he's holding, I need to put. Uh, um, how am I gonna do this one? How am I gonna do this? Uh, I'm wondering if I should. Render two separate times for this, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to s render two separate times. One for, one for the egg, once for the egg and once without the egg. So we're gonna take this, whoop, nope. Uh, Get rid of you, delete keyframe, okay. And then this guy has got to shrink down. Shrink down and go into the arm. So let's go ahead and bring you into the arm. I know this is going to be a bad decision for right now, but that's normally what I do for items that are switching. So now, so now it is switched over and it is the one in the hand. So at this point, now, whenever I control this thing, the egg is now con controlled by this bone here. But there is a problem. And here's the problem. Let me go to rendered view. Oop, nope, nope. Uh, let me go ahead and grab all of these bands. All of these keyframes, my bad. Delete keyframes. And then these ones, actually, I'm going to get rid of as well. Delete keyframes. So here's the problem. Let's go back to, yeah, Puka. So here's the egg. The egg still exists in his hand. Delete keyframe. And the light, unfortunately, does not... Oh, wait. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, why is it outside of his hand? Hold on. Hold on. Something's wrong here. Uh, let's go right to it. Okay, yeah, it should be inside of his hand. It's inside your hand. Oh, that's right. It's parented to the bone. So let's go ahead and drag that all the way down. Okay. All right, there we go. So let's take a look at that previous scene. I don't think... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So... I think it'll be okay. I think. I think it'll be okay. Not quite certain, but we'll see. I may have to do two renders with the egg on and the egg off because the light kind of shows through the arm and I don't like that. Don't like it when the light shines through the arm. Puka, what video editing software do you recommend for someone starting out doing MC vids for YouTube? Editing software? Um, well, I know one of my friends, Max Ryder, uses, I think it's Windows editing software. That's free and has at least some transitions where you can but it doesn't have quite the manipulation of frame per frame. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I have found out that the video editing for Blender tends to be pretty good. If, if you can figure out how, how all of this works. Um, since I've been working with Blender for a long time and then I started using it as a video editing, it seemed pretty natural to me to get all this, but I'm pretty sure that this isn't all that great. Uh, for the longest time, I had PowerDirector, but that was a gift to me, and that's pretty expensive. And right now, uh, I'm trying to learn Adobe Premiere yeah, Adobe Premiere, but that is also expensive. So there's Windows and Blender, which is free. Windows edit, Windows Movie Editor is not very complicated. Uh, not very complicated, but you cannot do too much manipulation with the video. Uh, Blender, you can do a lot of manipulation with the video, but it's very complicated to figure out. And PowerDirector is simple, but expensive, and Adobe Premiere is complicated and expensive. So those are the four things that I think about those. And you are still frowning. Why are you still frowning? You need to change key 18. Uh... Uh, you need to change from 1 to 0. There we go. Oh. Why are you frowning up here? You're not. That is weird. Why, why does that keyframe exist? Go away. Save. All right, that's weird. Blender does have a decent video editor. There is an open source video editor. I don't remember what that's called. Yeah. Hello, Project Atlas. Atlas. Uh, are you talking about OpenShot? Uh, I think that's the name. Yeah, with Blender you can do a lot of things. You can you can even make your own transitions if you want. You know, whatever shape or however you want it to transition. Literally anything you can come up with. Blender can do it inside of its video editing, but it is complicated to figure out and implement. Yeah. It is a very powerful tool. Bar powerful. 
Alright, so we got that. We got this. Alright, and now I think... Uh, let's go ahead and start closing this guy up. So... Yep. Let's take care of this keyframe right here. These keyframes can just delete and go away because we are going to completely close up the egg. Rup. There. There we go. What's going on here? Ah, the transition. Ah, oh, that's right. Dang it. Go back. Gotta go back. I forgot about the transition of the bones, too. So, this guy has got to have the... So let's see here, the transition happens here. So this guy right here, and all the bones on this rig need to be right there at that precise moment. And then, then we can transition over to having it being moved. So let's go ahead and grab this guy, bring it up here, and bring this guy downward. Okay. Alright, and then bring this guy down, okay. Mm, what, what? No, no, this. Something's happening here still. What is happening? I think something else is happening here. So let's go ahead and have this guy at this keyframe, and then this one, this guy at this keyframe. I think what I should do for this one is close it up just a little bit. This one needs to, yeah, close up still. Close up still, so bring the thing down. I'm letting go of that. Much better, much better. Much, 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 much better. Now there shouldn't be this little jump in between the two eggs. Yeah, there we go. There's a little jump in between the two eggs, and I didn't like it. There we go. Now we can bring this uh, egg down even further. Okay, we want to bring it down about right here, but we want to bring it down a lot slower than that for sure. Perfect. Good. And then this, and then this, bring down this, and then continue to bring down those hands, please. Bring down those hands. All right, good. Awesome, that's what we want. Uh... OBS is good recording software. Soft recording software? Uh, I don't think I... Oh, oh, OBS. OBS. Yeah, right, 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 right. I was... Sorry, I was still thinking of Blender. It's just like, Blender is a recording software? It's like, no, you're talking about OBS. Right, right, right. You're right. You're right. It's great for screen recording. Most of the hermits use it, as far as I know. Yes, that's correct. Uh, like Mumbo AFK <laughs> animation you made. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sochi's. There's a lot of people that liked it, but there's equally also a number of people that also think that it's very creepy. 
especially the uh, walking crab, crab head of green mustache, the mustachio green crab head. Yeah. <laughs> The one thing that I will never, never be able to prove, but I had the idea of doing the walking spider green head thing, uh, and doing all sorts of weird things with this, and then I saw the video where Green did make it for the the worst house that they made for each other. Like, Mumbo made a worst house for Green, and Green made a worst house for Mumbo. So, so Green made that exact same thing inside of Minecraft, of course, with a little bit of help. But that video had come out, like, several, several months before I had even thought of it, but I never saw that video. So I'll never be able to prove, hey, I had the same idea as Green without his influence. But I'm okay with giving him credit for said idea because, I mean, he came up with it first anyways. <laughs> uh, what? Another sending message? You know, I tried to actually have a sound go with the, the highlighted message, but that didn't work for some reason. Couldn't get it to work. No idea why. Dragon Bros. Gosh, that was, that was six months of terror. <laughs> Oh, terror and delight. Terror and delight. I mean, that, that was, um, that one was actually a, a cool one where, where the ideas that came from it happened to process, half the ideas for that processed as I started creating it. So I had one idea, and then as I go through the process, I'm like, oh, that would be a good idea. Hey, maybe I should put that in there. Oh, I'm put that in there. I'm taking my time anyways. I'll put that in there too. So as the as the thing came along, then some more ideas came up. I do want to do another one of those Ellie Beatmaker songs. I really do. So maybe after this, I'm going to be doing another Ellie Beatmaker song. But I already have one in mind. So... Can't influence me in picking a certain Ellie Beatmaker song because I already have decided which one I'm going to be doing. Of course, that is if I have time. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the facial features. So, we're going to need to get in some blinking action. Blinking action! Uh, let's grab... This eyelid has been bothering me for a little bit. Give me that keyframe. There you go. Now I want this keyframe, and I want you to duplicate and drag right on over here. Thank God. And there we go. Now we have the blinking thingy. Let's just grab all of these. Okay. And then duplicate and bring right on over. We do need some blinking here. Do, 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 do. Don't need any blinking there. Don't need to see the face. Here we go. Now we see the face. Now we can have some blinking. Because once you don't see the face, then you don't need a blink, right? So since you all can't see my face, but just see my avatar, I don't need a blink. Blink. As my avatar just starts ranting, constantly blinking. <laughs> There we go, and then duplicate that and bring it on over here. Uh, <laughs> I'm so hard at Dragon Pros. Thank you. I'm glad it was funny. Uh, why do you have to stream when I'm in a lecture? I because I, this is the only time that I have with my third shift grocery uh, stocking. Yeah. And also, you seem to have a long list of projects you want to work on. What's, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, oh, 
Which one am I looking forward to the most? Um, I do want to get back into one of the the Hermitcraft Carnival ones, but those are more projects for myself, really, because because those those ones definitely aren't as popular. But I absolutely love the uh, the Car Carnival. The Carnival Canonical storyline, or the Evil Faults storyline, whichever way you want to call it, because they're both one and the same. I do want to do some more with uh, Evil X, and maybe some other evils. Those are by far my favorite ones. Alright, and let's move around these eyes a little bit. Um... We need to go to local. I heard a rumor that a music streamer was interested in your work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, there was a music streamer. Um, I will have to see if he still wants to do something. Um, oh, I'm not sure about the details with that. Not sure about the details with that. I'll have to talk with him a little bit more. Uh, do, do, do. No, wait, no, no, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. And then... Do. Get those eyes looking a bit curious. Kind of move them a little bit left, right, center. Just give it a little bit of a jostle in order to show curiosity. Because that little curiosity also just adds a little bit more life to it. Um, yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes you just need a little bit of extra movement in the eyes in order to just emphasize life. And... Mm, let's duplicate that, bring it over here. And then duplicate that, and bring it over here. Hop, right there, so... Yeah, there we go. And then we want these eyes to come downward a bit and over. There we go. Perfect. Um... does not that I know lurk go ahead and lurk be my friend be my guest to lurk next song should be diabolical do 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 do, do. So we got that going um I do need to pull back that head a little bit Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me see here. No, no clipping is shown, right? Yeah, there's no, there's no clipping that is shown. So we don't need to worry about clipping through anything right now. And then let's go ahead and bring this, this head back a little bit as the. Uh, And then bring this body down as well. And then bring this nah, bring this body back. And the head still down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go, good. And then there's a little bit of motion there. And then 
I'm going to have to cut the camera here. Here is where I'm going to have to cut the camera. Go to the next one. Give it a quick save. Uh, I want this camera to... This camera to be lock rock scaled there. This camera to be lock rock scaled here. What did I just do? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to the other camera. Uh, no, not yet. This one. There. That's when I want to switch over to the other camera. And I want this camera to be just over the egg. Alright. Right about there. That'll do. Okay. And then we're going to have to pull back that face a little bit, too. Face, body, okay. So previous frame, this guy. Next frame, this. Okay. Okay. Nope. Let's get rid of those keyframes as well. As well as these keyframes. Tonk. So we want to make sure that our camera is being able to see through here. Let's go ahead and grab Jeff the Minion again. Uh, when did you start animation and how did you learn it? Uh, basically, I just learned via YouTube and just putzing around with things, honestly. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What? I did, I did, uh, okay. This might, this might give away a little bit too much information, uh, but well, I did do my first venture into Blender when my brother, who was trying to make a movie at the time, said, hey, could you make me an exploding head? So I tried my best in order to make an exploding head. Basically, I took uh, a low poly head, painted it pink, put a green background behind it, and fractalized the, the head, which was an automation inside a blender. And then I hand animated each one of those pieces flying, or flying away. It was a pretty bad, pretty bad animation. But it's what my brother needed because... All he needed was those pieces of the head flying away. Um, and it worked for the movie because I gotta I gotta show you this guys, because let's see here. Cause this is um because it's a it's one of those horror comedy movies. It's it's my brother's first movie and to be honest, for a first movie, this thing is fantastic. For a first movie, this thing is fantastic, I think. I got I got to show you guys this trailer. So uh at, <laughs> this just so you know, the following trailer has not been approved for all audiences, but but I'm pretty sure it's very, very uh, PG enough for you. But this, this. <laughs> These are violent, personal attacks, all perpetrated by the same individual. Pi is the ratio of a simple circumference to its diameter. <laughs> Killer is on the loose. This is a difficult time for all of us. Pi 3.14. Today is March 14th. <laughs> He's probably an escape mental patient. K 
in Christ were crazy, take it to his seal. Yeah. It's if I was in most of this production for this. <laughs> You're so fucked. Get out of this. Sorry about the language there. I completely forgot that that was in there. But yeah, it's 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 a very uh, B-rated movie, but it is pretty funny. Um, and it's and it's got its and it's got its great moments in there too. Um, I think the back of my head is in at least one of the shots. <laughs> it's it's uh it's 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 corny in a good way it's corny in a good way uh what is it the principle for for the movie the principle for the movie is um uh the guy that was behind the mask for jason Voorhees uh the first time around so the guy playing the principal is a legitimate actor. There's a few uh, high school, quote, high school actors in there that were from, what is it, Twilight. So there were some actual actors in there besides just friends and family that jumped into it. But corny as all heck, but yeah, it was, it was what, it, it was okay. It was... Okay, let's see here. We need to give this camera a bit of wobble because we're seeing through his, we're seeing through Puka's eyes now. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to bring down the the egg with the camera, uh, the egg with the camera. So, and then, so down. and then up there we go oh oh you hear that you hear that Woof. let's get some water first oh that was that was nice there's a little bit of bass just as just just as the camera comes up and that's that's perfect that's perfect I love that. I love that little uh, bit of bass if you hear it. Now, just as the camera comes up. Oh, delightful. I love it. Accidental stuff inside of this is so exhilarating. I love it. So, all right, let's get some, some Jeff the Minion back in here. So, right about here is when I'm going to have to have Jeff the Minion... Um, disappear. So he's gonna be here. Let's go ahead and make sure that all of the bones are in the correct spots. Lock rock scale for that. And then next frame, I want to rotate grab for that. And then let's go ahead and bring Jeff the Minion all the way up here and we're gonna have to look at what we're looking at if that makes any sense make sure what we know what we're looking at come on i want to go to the camera can i go to the cam hello oh what is going on uh oh, well, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna let it go. What are you doing? What is going on? Why can't I not do anything? Hello? What is happening? I think I saved recently. But I don't want to risk it. There we go. Hello? What What was that all about? Why did you do that? And why are all the things showing up? 
All the things? No. I don't want all the things. Go away. There we go. Camera. Thank you. That was weird. No idea why I did that. Alright, good enough. Let's give it a quick save, just to make sure that we don't have a problem like that again. That was weird. Uh, Jeff the Minion is right here. Here we go. We want him to be in the woods looking at Puka. So we're going to have to grab him and bring him over here. So where is he? <laughs> that itself is kind of creepy. Let's give this a rotation Z90. Ooh, nope. Negative. No. I want rotation Z180. That's what I want. <laughs> Save button is Alt F4. Oh, really? Really? I... Gosh, here I've been hitting Control S. No wonder my computer's been crashing and my files have been going away. I, all this time, I should have been hitting Alt F4. Oh. Sarcasm. Just FYI. Um, we want... I think... Let's actually have the egg up a little bit, and let's have Jeff, let's have Jeff be in this grass spot right here. Let's have Jeff be right here. And then this is going to be leaning forward. these legs and balanced out a little bit and then have these arms downward but also a little forward and then spread out the arms a little bit too there we go mmm something doesn't seem right let's bring those arms inward a bit too there we go that's better that's better so we want this egg, 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 egg exterminate, egg exterminate. All right, and so we want this egg to be coming down. Uh, let's see here. We want it to be covering up Jeff. We want it to be covering up Jeff. So let's go ahead and uh, let's. We want to be coming down at a good pace, though. Uh, what I could do is see if about putting it right here and then putting it right here. Uh, nope, that doesn't work. Mm, grab. That's weird. Okay, right there. Let's try that. Bring it forward a bit, too. Alright, so let's see how much that changes the egg movement. Not at all. Doesn't bring move the egg movement at all. Good. And there he is. Mmm. If you watch the amazing uh, world of uh, world of gumball, no, I uh, have not. But I do know what you're talking about. Uh, did you model? Uh, and did you, and did you model? And did you model everything yourself? <laughs> uh, sort of, sort of, a little bit. Uh, egg. Sturm, oh boy. <laughs> Eggs, I, what an excitement I have, okay. Some of the th these things I've modeled myself, uh, some of them I haven't. So, let's see here. The egg, I have not modeled the, the 
ender crystal on inside of there, I did not model. The grounds here, I did not model. The trees and such forth, those were imported from everything. I did make the path inside of Minecraft. So this path I at least put together, but I also imported from uh, imported into Blender. There is the temple, which I only imported a small uh, six by six block area. So, and I just duplicated that inside of Blender. So all of this is duplicated inside of Blender. These models, however, these models are completely my own. So this guy right here, that is completely handmade. Uh, and it is hand rigged myself. And so are Jeff the Minion and the Warden here. The Warden is also handmade as well as the texture. The texture is handmade. Uh, not that there's much texture hand making for Jeff, but yes, Jeff was also handmade. Puka was uh, hand adjusted. There was a fox skin that I just uh, mashed up and changed some things. And some of these other things I did. The block I didn't make, but I just duplicated to create the portal. So some of this stuff is imported, sort of, and some of it is just handmade. Some of the stuff you can actually just uh, download from one of my Twitters. I should, um, I should, should put out the link of what some of these models you can download. Some of these models you can download, like the Villager. Now that is finally available and working for transport. So, and that one guy is pretty cool. So I hand created myself a villager that switches skins pretty quickly. So, all right. Um, let's see here. That's good. And we're gonna need to darken that up a little bit too down there. So, all right, so there's Jeff. So the egg comes down. Jeff is there. And then head up. And there we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of this temple ceiling, jungle floor. Go back to block mode, get rid of the sky. Alright. Okay, and then let's and then let's have some more movement of the camera. There we go. Good. Thank you for the follow. As temp Aztec Templar. All right, so now we go from here and we're gonna go into the other camera. And let's make sure that this camera, yeah, that camera's fine. What am I talking about? All right, this camera. Control B, we're gonna be jumping to the other camera. And then we're gonna have a, ooh, how do we do this? I think. What we should do is we should do this. I think we'll have Puka standing on that block there. And so once things change over, I'm going to have to move all of these bones. So from here, lock rock location to here, everything needs to move. So downward we go. Let's grab these guys and these hands and let's go ahead and do a global. global drag down. Rup. Nope. Not what I was looking for. There we go. 
Thank you for the follow there. Crazy bun mom. <laughs> Funny name. I like it. I absolutely love it. Crazy bun mom. All right. So now we're going to be standing here. And let's go ahead and lock, rock, scale all of that. So let's see if our movement from here to there messes up with any other animation. All right, it doesn't, so that's good. But I do want to add some more stuff here, though. So let's go ahead and grab this bone. We're going to be moving this around ever so slightly. And then let's do that again, but right here, ever so slightly the other direction. So let's see what happens now. Good. <laughs> All right, that needs to change though. That for sure needs to change. So let's go back to this keyframe and we're going to move moving back here. And then we're going to move this foot up onto the ledge. Do, 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 do. Foot up onto the ledge. Upwards. Unrotating. There we go. Thank you for the follow, Lego Felix. Uptime. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Miss Loads of Stream. Oh, hey, Ikith. How you doing? Mm, doo, 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 doo. Because there's been a new follower. Every time there's a new follower, all the little avatars dance on screen because we're cheering. I think I'm doing okay. Uh, so, I think, but I also think that this camera, gimme, 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 this camera, okay, this camera, however, needs to zoom in, because if I have it here, it's obvious, it's very obvious that something's uh, awkward has happened. So we're gonna zoom in right here, and we're gonna have the camera right on Puka, so that way, one so that way the continuity isn't quite as obvious as what's happening <laughs> because we are going from because if we look at this from afar let's 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 look at this from afar so uh, or if we can watch this from here so we have we have puka going up the stairs and we have him coming up to the egg he grabs the egg closes the egg and he pulls it down and then, as he pulls it down, he noticed Jeff over there. And then, then that, okay? So, the continuity with that is perfect, but the funny thing is, is when you look at this from afar to see what's actually happening, which is hilarious, absolutely hilarious. So Puka is all the way down here. So at, the camera goes up there in order to show the egg up here. And then Puka just jumps into this spot in order to get ready to climb. So he climbs on up. And then he jumps to that position in order to get the egg. And you notice there's no climbing there. And he has to be all the way up there in order to see Jeff. And then the egg comes down and he sees Jeff and then it jumps back to this point. So continuity, no. No continuity whatsoever. <laughs> uh, okay, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, a man after midnight. A man after midnight? Yes, that is correct. I am a man after midnight, aren't I? <laughs> never, go never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Not even with cherries or chocolate syrup. I won't desert you. Oh. Lay down. Er, 
you go, Popo. Lay down, down. Hmm. Let's see here. So, sees him there. Let's go ahead and hide the warden a little bit too. Uh, uh, we need to do that, and we're gonna need to do that with some trickery of the light. So, jungle floor and temple ceiling. Let me put these two in very quickly. I think I should put in a negative light here. So let's go over to the warden really quickly. <laughs> Give treats to the pets. Give some treats to the pets. No puppies. There you go. <laughs> Can I scare you with a treat? I scared the puppy with a treat. Isn't it? It's 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 super easy to make me sing, but I'm not sure if that would be considered singing. I would poetic wording, might I say? Humble American eyeball doggo, eyeball doggo. I don't know what you mean by eyeball doggo, but yeah, it's kind of like I'm a rocket man, as William Shatner would put it. Rocket man. Let's put in a point light, add lights, and so this is adding, hey, there's a warden over here, but I'm going to try something really quickly. We're going to try a, a negative light here. We're going to try negative 10. Oh, that is weird. That is weird. I'm just going to add some more shadow to this area right here. Let's add um, a bit more shadow. And increase that radius too. And let's bring that out a little bit too. Uh, bring it upwards. Yeah, look at that. That is weird. I, negative light is weird. It is absolutely weird. All right, so that's darkened down a little bit, at least. So I'm not sure if that helps mask the warden. Maybe I should just, um, instead of this, maybe I should just move it backwards a little bit. Okay, we're gonna just we're just gonna move this warden backward a little bit, and have him just peek out just a little bit. And this point light, no, well, let's just get rid of it anyways. Let's just delete this point light. Oh, wait, we, 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 uh, wrong point light, wrong point light. That one, that's the one I wanted to get rid of. All right. Highlighted message. Mm. So now we see Jeff. All right, <laughs> just blankly stare, and apparently have a blink action there. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> just blink. <laughs> uh, land, temple ceiling, jungle floor. Uh, quick shading. All right, there we go. So, now we have this. Let's get him into a correct position for holding this egg, shall we? And lean forward a bit. And then upward. And then bring this egg back a bit. And bring this arm back a bit too. And actually, I'm going to want to move this egg too. So let's go ahead. This egg has a position of here. Let's move this egg uh, closer to that bone. I want it to be on top of that bone, pretty much. So, let's go ahead and do that, and then let's move these hands outward a bit. Um... I think I'm gonna do some more trickery. I think I'm gonna shrink this guy a little bit. There we go. I think I'm gonna shrink this guy a little bit. So in between scenes, we've switched to a smaller egg so that 
things can be a little bit more manageable with the egg because it is a little too big to be manageable. So, all right, there we go. All right, and save. Let's go to the camera, there we go. Egg is a little bit more manageable, but you'll never know the difference. Did the egg change in size? Only the only the creator shall know. <laughs> Let me get myself some caffeine. Yeah, get myself cover. Cover? It's cover. Brought to you by Myers. Meyer brand caffeine. For all your grocery shopping needs. Not really, because I bought the stuff. Wouldn't have been brought to you. Oh, I now would have been. <laughs> Technically, I'm kind of sponsoring them just with my work. But they're sponsoring me back. It's an equal mutual sponsorship. Alright, now let's change this expression. We're going to need to change the expression midway through, so let's go ahead and take all of these bones, give it a lock rock scale, and change over the expression at this point. Bring down the eyelids. Oh, we're on global still. Whoops. Undo. There we go. I need local. Thank you. There we go. Much better. And then let's get rid of this blink because we don't want this blink here. Delete that. Let's bring down these eyebrows. We're going to bring them into an anger expression. Uh, yeah, that's right. Anger expression. Anger. And global. Yeah, let's just global this one. Make it easier on myself, shall I? Bring it backwards. There we go. And then... Let's go ahead and change the texture of this. So in between scenes here, we're going to change from this. Ooh. Ooh, that would be an interesting shot. So from here... So from here, we're going to change the factor from zero to full green here. And then this is going to be interesting. So now that it's changed from from this to that, oh, it didn't show up. Oh, that's because the head isn't close enough. Uh... All right. Oh, well, I was hoping that the that the green light would show up on top of the egg here, but it did not. Uh, you know what? It's such a cool effect. I might as well just, uh... Might as well just add in a light. So we're just gonna add in a light. Just because I want it there. So let's go ahead and... Shift... Uh, where's my actors? Actors... Fox person, add in a point light. And I want to parent this. Excuse me. I want to parent this to the egg here. So we're going to parent that to the egg. And then we are going to change this to a green light. And let's see here. We want this to be... Huh? Why? Why you know? Why you know? Why? Why you know? Why you know? Why? Why? Why you know? Why? Why? Why you know? Why? Why? Why you know? Parent to object. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I want. I want that. Okay, and now what I want to have happen is it's going to be at this 
This illuminosity, er, kind of. Let's bring this guy backwards a bit. So delete this keyframe. We're going to bring you back behind the camera, I think. Right about here. Yes. Let's grab. We don't see it, so we need to increase the power to... Let's go to 100. Ooh, a little too much, a little too much, a little too much. Uh, let's go with 50. There we go, 50. So 50 will be a good number for this, but I want it to be zero for most of the time here. So it's gonna be going from here. And my light has disappeared. Oh, that's... <laughs> That's if I put the keyframes in for the light. There. Now it can be 50. Right. Okay, so now as I bring it down, then the, the lights show up. Um, let's go ahead and move that light as well here. So from here, uh, let's go ahead and move that light upward to here. Okay, and then once it hits this point, I want the light to be at 50 and then gone. No more light. That's what I want to happen. So there's no more light after that. Hello. Make a full dance video about pigs dancing to pig step. <laughs> That one, that had been one of my thoughts before, but uh, I think uh, I think I would have to come up with a plot line a little bit more with that one. And yes, I said plot line. That, that seems uh, it seems like it flows in a certain direction, like there's supposed to be something happening, and then things change throughout the song. Hydrate and pull. Ooh. Ooh, hydrate and pull. Yep, those are the new buttons. I got sounds for them, too. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to this. Um, let's go to the body bones. And we are going to move things around. So. There we go. Good. I like that little movement right there. Said, go away. I'm going to have to do some recording. Voice acting time. I'm going to have to do some of that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our... Audacity. A really quick check. Huh. Why does it say I'm still offline? Uh, that's weird. I'm still offline. I gotta refresh things. Give my parents a treat. Alright, there we go. That was odd. It's odd. It was, it, it was a little bit odd. Don't know why I did that. Okay. We need voice acting, so let's grab Audacity, our nice little audio program. Okay, and we want to record ourselves. So let's say, I said, go away. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I said, go away. Right. I said, go away. All right, good. Let's grab some of this effect here. Noise rejection, get no noise profile. Analyze, uh, no, not analyze. Uh, noise reduction, go back into it. Reduce the noise. Good. Get rid of these clicks. Don't need these clicks. 
Three clicks. All right, good. I said. Yeah, there's a little bit less noise there, too. And effect. All right. Don't know how else to fudge with that. Poll certain question. Should you, option one, sub to creative dimension? Uh, two, sub to the puka and creative dimension, or sub to both? Wait a minute. I see something there. I see something there. Number two and number three are exactly the same. <laughs> ah. Um, you know what? I don't know how to make a pool. How do I make a pool? Pool pool. Uh, do 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 do. How do I make a pool? Mm -hmm. Switch to non mod settings. Uh, that doesn't work. Iron Age settings. All are the same. No, no, no. And the Puka, so to the Puka and the Creative. Oh, oh, they are. Oh! You know, option T. Is option T n neither? <laughs> you know, let's see here. How, how do I make a a pull. Let's go to let's go to my channel. Open my channel in a new window, and we're going to mute myself. Correct? Yes, I got myself muted. And I want to go to mod view. Maybe that's how I do this. Put the button. I might as well figure out how to work this, eh? How does one do this? <laughs> A footman pull. Dun, dun. We're gonna figure this out. Mm, pause question. Mm, hmm. Automate queue, clear something. Mm, pop out, drag it, cut it, how 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 it, other channels, and then whispers, activate, activate mods, sessions. I don't know how to do this. Interesting. Collapse. Now. Expand. Alright, I don't know how to make a pull. I put in the button, but I don't even know how to do this. Yeah, it should be just right inside of your text, as far as I know. I had to put in the, uh, uh, review recent raids. Creator dashboard. No, that doesn't help me. Mm, permit terms, block items, slow mode, follow, emotes. That doesn't help me either. Hmm. I can delete message, pause, scroll, pop out, minimize doc. You know? I don't see any way of doing that. I literally don't see a way to make a poll. I know someone has made a poll before on this, and I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Uh, no idea. Huh. Well... Hmm, no way. We're just going to export this audio and... Alright, well thank you, Jen. Hopefully, hopefully you can figure it out because I absolutely see no options. Hi, feedback, notifications, whispers. Yeah, 
There is no option to. No option. Alright, slash. Mm, pull. Open up the setup for a pull. Open setup menu to create a poll. Mm, that didn't help. Or, no. Interesting. Nope. Neither of those got it. Yeah. I wasn't able to open up anyways. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, his thing was, oh, should you subscribe to Creative Dimensions and the Puka, or the Puka and Creative Dimensions, or both. But be as liberal as you want with uh, the selection of the questions on how you want to put that. I would say, um, <laughs> put at least an option in there for for neither. See how many put down don't want to, uh, who, who doesn't want to subscribe to either of them. Uh, but yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Well, no, no, it's a suggestion. It's a, it's a poll suggestion. It is a poll suggestion. I mean, anybody can put down whatever they want in that suggestion, but it is, after all, just a suggestion. I mean, what if put it and somebody puts in there something rather uh, rude? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna refund your points, and, and we're just gonna drop the drop the uh, the poll for sure. But you can put it in there if you want uh, the questions as you as you as they are presented. <laughs> No, it's not rude. No, it's not rude. But I'm just saying that it is a it is a poll suggestion. So you can we can we can change the poll. <laughs> right, Ekith? Right? What if we only want to su subscribe to one? What if I only want to subscribe to Creative Dimensions because I can't subscribe to myself? So I mean, the subscribing to myself is not an option. It's it's just not one for me. I can't do that. I can't subscribe to myself. <laughs> yeah, you can do it and do the question however you want. Mm. True. I could sub to, sub to myself from a second account, but is it myself at that time? Am I myself when I change accounts, or am I not me? Am I not myself? That is a good question. I am not me. <laughs> We're getting deep now. Getting deep. We are getting deep. Uh, uh, Puka, go away to, uh, save. Yes, that's what I want. Use brand account, then it's same mail ID. True. Then, yes, then, 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 then I could be subscribing to myself. You are right. Yeah, you're right. You are totally correct. Correct. Creative dimensions. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Sub to both. One hundred percent. One. I think that's what one person entered their vote. Is that what that means? At that little one at the end. One person. So, 100 of the people that have voted have said sub to both. 
Right? I, apparently, I can't sub to it. I can't vote for it either, Jen. I was looking for it. I was like, hmm, for some reason I don't see it. Maybe she's making it, but apparently I just can't vote. <laughs> All right. So now that we have our little voice acting in there, we can go over here and we're going to add in our little voice acting. Do, do, do. I want to say... Uh, no. Sounds voice acting. Here we go. Uh, go away two. I think it's this one. Where'd you go? There it is. Hello. Hello. Grab Y. We're gonna drag you down a little bit just because you don't need to be there. Display waveform. Get rid of that. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not right. That's not right. Delete that. Um, I want this one. Grab Y. Bring you down. Grab Y. I have all this space below it. Nothing's been happening. Okay. Display waveform. I said, go away. I said. Okay. So, we're going to be switching between two cameras here. Layout. So. I said. Mm, that's a little too long. A little too long. Let's bring that back a little bit. I said. Go away. All right. So, right on here. I said. Right in between the word said. Right there. Make sure that is there. And I want the other camera. Where are you? Camera two. Camera one, actually. We're going to switch over to you. And it's going to jump over to this point right here. And... We'll bring back the... That and jungle floor jungle floor we're gonna actually start animating the warden now Woo and dinner moment all right have a good dinner moment learn enjoy your dinner Alright, and then we uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit further. Ooh. Let's have the focal length change for sure. This is not a good focal length. Let's change the focal length to this. That's a better focal length. There we go. Right, slow down. There we go. Uh, good. Now, now that we have the warden, and now we're gonna be dead. Let's go back to jungle floor, and we want to grab out of shading mode. Okay. So now we know what we're doing here. Bed. Bed. And then from here, we want to wobble this. So let's... Why... Ah, there it is. Local. And let's do a wibble. And a wobble. And then... Back to a wibble again, but not as much. And then back to a wobble, but not as much either. And then back to stationary. So... Oop, there. So... Yeah, that, that's perfect. Alright, now we need to do something really weird. Um... Mm, 
Mm. Yeah, uh, I have I have links. Uh, I have links off right now. Mm. All right. Um, go ahead and just uh, send me the link through Twitter then. Just go send me a link, Twitter. It's fine. Bad. Let's go ahead and also <laughs> increase the... Oh, we need to change the shader. So, how do we do this? I forget which slider it is. And then I change here. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. So we have from this point, and then we need to find that guy in here. There it is. That's the one we want. Okay. Let's go back to layout. There, and then off again. Oh, oh, oh! Whoops. Okay, from here, from this point, to here, it's on. Okay, zero is on, right. And then here it is off. Okay. There we go. There, that's better. So now, go ahead. Said. Mm, let's see if we can see that in real time. Dead. Not quite. Dead. Dead. Go. I sent link for Puka in the channel. Bot one says. Uh, but Bot don't understand. <laughs> yes. Of course. You can always play a battle royale. That forces everybody to play the game. <laughs> Bed. Go. Bed. 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 I guess. I guess that's a good reason not to uh, play if nobody wants to. Mm. Alright, so how am I going to do this? Is there a way that I can download the Warden sound? I think... I think we're just going to skip on the Warden sound for now and I'm going to do that on my own. Because I've got to do that through OBS. So I've got to... Like, record the video of it, and then separate the video from the audio, and then just use the audio from, say, the video, so... I'll have to fiddle around with that on my own, but I'll have to get the Warden sounds, like, from, uh, something else. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can. Things are kind of chill right now. Either that or they're all scared of the Warden. Right? Is everybody scared of the Warden? I am. I am terrified of the Warden. For sure. And I have no qualms about sharing that with any anybody around. I am scared of Warden. Warden is going to be creepy. But I think the fact that he is so powerful and the fact that he is so creepy makes this fantastic. I wouldn't change a 
thing about him. All right, so let's now that that has wiggled. Um, now that that has wiggled, we are going to jump from this camera uh, back to the other camera. Let's go jump back to that camera. Whoop. Control B. So now it jumps from one to the other. I said, go. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's some good timing right there. I like that. So, so it goes from goes from whoops. What is going on here? Interesting. Interesting. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Interesting. Okay, let me take a look at this really quickly. Apparently, I didn't... I didn't uh, do location for some reason, and I don't know why it didn't do location. Why didn't you duplicate location? Okay, so these three need to be duplicated and brought over here, but why you didn't duplicate location, I don't know. Ah, that's interesting. All right. I said, I said, go away. There we go, perfect. So now we want a little bit of lip syncing. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back, so cheese. Take care, Creative Dimensions. Bye. All right, and grab some of the lip syncs. Select. Right. Uh. All right, and then. Here, we want to get a little bit of a sneer on him, just as... So we're going to put a little bit of a sneer on him. There we go. And then... Let's go ahead and grab all of those again. And then we're gonna go into an ah. Uh, I, 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 and then we're just gonna go into an S sound straight away. I, okay, and we're gonna keep that S motion. I. Okay, and then that's all I need for that. We're going to take this. I'm going to move this down a little bit too. Actually, let's grab all of these bones. Let's grab all of these and then... Let's move this off to the left, actually. Mm, 
lip sync not so great. Go back. Lip sync not so great. Go back. Select how I said. Oh wait. I said. Oh okay. I. Said. Let's let's go ahead and grab. Ah, that's why. Okay, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. Let's go back to. Let's go back to neutral. And then get rid and these bones will still be sneering. That's why. Okay. I said. So the keyframes. I said. I uh, still have that sneer up there. I have those eyes tracking a little bit better. Okay. No, not what I want. I want, from this point, I want them to shift Z here. And then... I, I want them to track this side. There we go. I said. I said. And then we'll have them track back again. I said. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, uh, Puka just tweeted a photo eight minutes ago. I did? I did? I don't remember t tweeting a photo. Uh, I'm every time, I'm every time just like, is, is it an animation talking or is it live puka? <laughs> uh, slap Jeff, the minion's, uh, neck, if he doesn't go away. <laughs> That's a little bit rude, but I approve. I totally approve. If Jeff doesn't want to go away, just punch him in the neck. Unfortunately, as you'll find out later in the animation, that Jeff the Minion uh, is kind of just an illusion in his own eyes. So as Puka goes to just shove him out of the way, he kind of just fades. It just like, wah. Just hand goes through him. But Puka knows that he's just an image in his head and just an antagonizing figure, but Jeff the Minion is very real, just incorporeal, or not uh, able to interact with the physical world. <laughs> Can't, just not able to interact with the physical world. It's just hard. Although Jeff is looking to... Jeff is looking to get a physical form at some point. I said. And if any of you know some of the Hermitcraft lore, you might know how that'll happen. I said. Mm. said. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Said. Go away. And then let's go ahead and grab... No, 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 that one. Uh, the picture said, uh, peeps, calm down. <laughs> I don't think that says eight minutes. If it does say eight minutes, something has gone wrong. Yeah. All right, let's... And then let's go ahead and not grab these bones. And then we want to go to an S. 
And let's go ahead and bring these guys up again still. Because they're still mad. Um, select. I said. Alright, and then we want to... And then we do to here. I think it's an N and a D sound. Let me zoom in here really quickly. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's the K sound. Go. 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 And then we go into a W sound. Go. 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 And then we switch to an S for just the sneer factor. The sneer factor. Go. 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 Select these. Uh, 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 uh. Get that sneer factor back in there. Go. in that sneer factor again. Where did I get my name from? <laughs> What's going on? That's exactly the reaction I was going for. What the hell's going on? I just play with that sometimes. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm just doing any of this voice voice acting, I just it's it is actually an animation thing where you where you double check everything by by just watching it over and over go, again. Go 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 away. By just uh, constantly watching it over and over again. Go, 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 make away, sure. away, away. Just to make sure that everything's, just, just to make sure that everything's perfect. I said, I said, I said, I said. <laughs> just to make sure that everything's moving correctly. Just kind of go back and just do that to make sure that everything is working perfectly but sometimes i do it just for the fun of it just uh doing a weird i i i i i i i said 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 mm, that's actually something that i need to do there but to answer your question there rbs um yeah i'm arguing with myself uh to answer your question, RBS, it's it's um, if you ever heard of White Wolf role playing games, they made something called World of Darkness, and World of Darkness has a um, a character called uh, a changeling. Changeling are fey creatures. Fey creatures are fairies. 
And there is a type of changeling fairy creature that is called a puka, which is basically uh, a person that is uh, a part human, part animal type thing created from dreams and such forth. So the puka is part animal, part human. And um, my character had a name. My character had a name. But he was never referred to as his name because Apuka is a lower class citizen. There's she, which is royalty, and then there's Puka, which is lower class. So I was referred to as Puka. And as the game progressed, none of my friends would just say, say Jeff. They would also call me Puka. And within the game, they would just call me by my class Puka. So they would just constantly be calling me Puka. Found out that later on, also, I didn't know how to play a puka, but the, I read up on what a puka is supposed to act like in character, and like, hey, I'm doing exactly that. Would you look at that? And they said, hey, you're a puka, and it just stuck for millennia. I mean, the name is like 20 years old for me. But yep, yeah, my character had a name, but he was just referred to as his class. Puka, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing nothing. You don't see anything. Thank you very much for the follow. The Anna Nerd? Is that how you pronounce it? The Anna Nerd? I think that's how you pronounce it. That's kind of cool. Is it like the animation nerd? Is that how it's supposed to go? kind of like that. How many times did uh, he say Puka to the uh, world? <laughs> How many times did he say Puka? The world may never know. Anime nerd. Oh, okay. Cool. Anime nerd. Okay. Go away. There is a problem. Said. Yet. Uh, there, there is a problem right here, though, and I need to fix that. Um, let's select all of those bones. Select, and I want to get rid of the sneer bones. Get rid of those. There we go. Mm. Okay. There we go, and now I want to D, which will be this lip sync right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Because there was an odd D said. I said. I said. Yeah. Said. Yeah, that needed needed to have that D there. Oh. That outfit is not looking too hot right now. Nobody's even gonna see that. that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh my gosh! Gotta get the owl hoodie on. Change to... Owl croissants hoodie. Doink! There we go. BRB, I need a cup of... I need a cup of tea. BRB, gotta get a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Or you could have the Biffa voice, the sips of tea, sip, sips of tea, cups of tea, cup, cup of tea, sips of tea, sip, sips of tea. All right, now let's grab some more bone stuff and let's get this guy animated on. Go. Go. Oh. 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 Okay, lean back further. Oh. Nah. Away. Away. Way. Away. And then bring it down further still. 
Okay, bring it down further. And then keep that head rotated this way. And then we want to have this guy go. Go. And then go. This guy yeah. needs to be moving a little bit too. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. And then wait. let's grab this guy and bring him up in this direction a little bit. Go away. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Away. Mm, yes. That's what I like about that. Good. Go away. Okay, good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another thing I need to do about that, too. I need to get those ears to work. Because we can't have that going. Uh, let's grab these. No, oh, yeah, that's right. From alert. From, we need to go from here. To, we need to go to sad or worry. There we go. I said go, go, go away. away. And then we need to have these things blink. Alright, and let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put in the same keyframe, go 6 down, and do a blink. Okay. And then we can blink while being angry. I blink. said. And then duplicate this, bring it on over here. Go away. Way. All right, and then congratulations. Who wants a battle? Uh, uh, Ekith. Ekith won the battle. Ekith. <laughs> What's in Puka's cover photo? Impulse, Skiz, uh, Brown Horse, White Horse, and of course Puka, with Ellie Beatmaker and Doc77 as Dragon Bros. Yep. I'd be impressed if you knew what the names of the White Horse and the Brown Horse were. I'd be more, even more impressed if you know which ones were which. <laughs> Go away. Because I think I've only mentioned uh, once inside of a video what what their horse, what their names are. The pretty horses. Oh my god, three, two, one, pretty horses. They're so pretty. Oh my god. Jump. 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 Gotta grow some saplings, chop and digging, chop and digging, uh, nah, whatever, your mom's very big. Do, 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 do. Alright, so, now we need to switch back again to a cam second camera, but, do it. This is this camera. Let's go ahead and and let's go to second camera here. And this one has lockbox scale there for the camera and there. And then we're gonna go to the other camera. B. And we're gonna zoom on out.
There we go. And then we're going to start bringing out the horde in. Alright, about right there seems pretty good. Uh, Let's do right there, actually. And then we're going to start bringing this guy out. So, finally, after all this time, we are finally, finally getting to the Warden. And then this guy's going to creep on out. But he's going to creep out really weird. Like, super weird. Like, what the hell weird. Mm, yeah. And he's eventually going to reach... Oh, gosh. I did I, not... Nah. I hate that this... Um, I have to go into this mode in order to see what he's doing. Alright, let's zoom in on here. Because the textures aren't correct in the other shading view. Because of how the nodes go. Mm, let's grab these legs, bring them over here. And then bring this. Uh, so he's ultimately going to end up here. He's going to ultimately end up here. And he's going to be facing Puka with the head up and actually lowered here. So that's where he's going to end up. But, I need to have him kind of drift into that position. Because we're not actually going to make him walk just yet into that position. So that's where he's going to end up. So, not like so. <laughs> a little, a little not right there. Alright, he's going to move a lot slower than that. A lot slower than that. And then, so he's going to be coming through here. So around this point, we need him to start bringing his head up and to the right. Actually, we'll do this and then back a bit. So... Something with that head is going on. Delete that. Alright, there we go. And then... Let's bring these things downward over here. So we don't want those to be the frame. So we want... And then here... Okay, good. And then we're not going to be seeing that. Let's put on the jungle floor really quickly. Jungle floor. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we're not going to be seeing his legs. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm, move on over. Don't want to see your legs. Don't want to see your legs. Don't show me your legs, those stubby little things. There we go. Delete those. Wait! Alright, okay, good. And then I want this camera to start moving around a little bit. Alright, and then... Okay, good. And then here. Okay. Let's do that direction and then this direction. Um, and actually, let's let's start moving the camera this way. 
then start moving the camera this way. Okay. Mm, let's actually get rid of these keyframes. Something's not right here and I don't like it. Delete keyframes. Let's move the entire camera this way and then put in the keyframes. Because we want something so it's... There we go. That's what we want. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do that. Do this. Okay, and then... Okay, good. Now... What are the avatar points for? The only thing I can spend them on is bombs. Yeah, bombs, duels, slots. Yep. Take care, so cheese. Be safe. Something's weird with the camera here, too. Alright, we're going to change that up a bit. We're going to grab this guy and bring him over here. Mm, that doesn't seem right to me. Is that... Is that not... There we go. Let's go back to jungle floor, get take care of that. Let's go back to this thing and see how these turn out. Mm, something's still not right. Um, let's see. There we go. Give my puppies pets treats. Go give my puppies treats. Puppy treats. Give the doggo some treats. There's still some Cheerio from last time. What are you doing? It might be a cool down on whatever you're trying to uh, press, RBS. But yeah. There's a cooldown and it'll say uh, it's out of stock. Nothing actually is out of stock. It's just on a cooldown. Actually, that's my that's my caffeine. I need to do some regular water, regular hydrate. Ah, uh, much better. Much better. Much better. Much better. That's my love. Hey. Alright, now we need to get something else in here. Um, let's go ahead and do a kind of weird thing, which is going to be this. And then... And then... And that. Lump. And then let's get these arms to be kind of uh, droopy esque. This way and forward a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Let's see how that looks inside of the shaded view. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. I like how that works. Okay. I wish I could get something out of the body. Not sure what to do about that, but the head 
the head roll is fantastic where it just kind of flumps down and the arms just kind of sag oh that is beautiful i love that i absolutely love that oh it feels feels so that unnatural outfit is not looking too hot right now you need something that looks prettier outfit change oh my god we're gonna go off to some golf course we're gonna hit a few balls that golf there we go got myself my nice little uh wool shirt on and these plaid plaid pants and i got my golf glove on i finally figured out what that was it was a golf glove it's a golf glove <laughs> so, yeah although there is something weird though I just noticed something. Take a, take a look at my avatar really quickly. This is straight off of ZF. And if everything's proper, the texture for the, the socks is the same texture for the, for the glove. Am I right about this? Am I right about this? Is this the same thing that's for ZF too? Is he basically just wearing a sock as a golf glove? Or is he wearing golf gloves for socks? <laughs> I do know, but that does sound like a type of thing that ZF would do, wouldn't he? He would wear glo golf gloves for and socks and or socks for golf gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. That head roll flump. Oh, that is that is diabolical. Oh, that is good. Okay, let's put in the temple ceiling, temple floor. Let's put in the jungle floor. Let's see about getting this darkness to, to precede him. Okay. All right, this thing does need to come off, though. Uh, I forgot that this was a thing here. Uh, this needs to turn off. Let's go ahead and put you on a keyframe and put you on a keyframe here, too. And let's go ahead and just take this straight to zero. Now I'm thinking I'm thinking about doing something really weird. Something possibly it may not work. This may not work, but if it does, I I subscribe to it and I think it's fantastic. Let's go ahead and we are going to add in a volumetric mesh here. We're going to put in a cube. We're going to increase the size of this cube and we are going to back it up so that it's just, just in front of him. So or just within him actually. So we're going to put it like right about here. And we're going to make sure that this cube is parented. So let's go ahead and parent this to the body bone. Uh, nope. Uh, I want to parent it to Add bone relative, there we go. Now this guy needs to have no surface to it. So let's go ahead and remove the surface. And we are going to add in a volumetric node. Volume, uh, principled volume, here we go. Principled volume, and then we're gonna take this volume and we're going to bring it down to a 0.1. Okay. Point one, and then we're gonna take this color and we're gonna turn it down to a dark. I'm gonna turn it down to a dark. So now, uh, let's go ahead and see how that looks as he's coming out of the cave. So let's go ahead and shrink this guy down a bit. All right, so now as he comes out, um, 
that negative light isn't quite working for me. I mean, it's it's cool, but it's not quite what I want. Uh, where is the negative light at? Mm, give me that negative light. Oh, do, 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 Warden, here we go. Let's bring it down to a, let's bring it down to a hundred. Yeah, there we go. So now, as he comes out, yeah, that does better. That does much better. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. much better. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, where is that negative light, by the way? Warden, show me that negative light. Where are you at? Okay, you're right there. And I don't think you... No, you have on contact shadows. You have on all the shadows. Oh, that is... That is diabolical. I love it. I absolutely love it. You're just... This massive darkness just comes on out. Blah. <laughs> Let us go ahead and see what we can do about this guy. So the darkness comes out and oh, that is that is just Lovely, okay. Okay, let's see about what happens if I move this thing backwards a bit. Alright, I'm gonna move this thing backwards. And then I'm actually gonna bring this thing back in. I want it to come into almost of its original spot, too. Okay. So, there we go. Now it's kind of... Now it's kind of a mass. It was kind of cutting off, kind of like lights do, right there. And it was just not right. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's do a get, give a quick save here, and then... I'm gonna do some more voice acting, and we are going to get some, a little bit of comedy into this little horror flick that we've made for ourselves. Um, and we are going to also get Puka's reaction to this, because we have to do that before we move on, because some of his reaction may reveal some of the Warden, and we'll have to change that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Puka. Let us grab the body bones. All right. All right, let's bring, take care of the same... So now we have what we need for that. Let's go ahead and go back into this view. That's gonna be that is gonna be difficult to deal with. And just this massive cube right behind him. Okay. Oh, oh, and then we're gonna stand straight up. And then we're going to wait. Whoop! What's that? And then bring in our arm. And then bring up this guy. No, not so much. Over here. And then we want those ears again. Uh, let's go ahead and select those ears. And then we're going to go from here to that pretty quickly. I'm going to go to alert. Like, what? Nope. Grab this. What? What is that? And then, then we're going to go back into slowly go into worry. Like, 
Oh, good galley. Alright, good. Let's go back into the body bones. Head down. And then we're gonna follow the track of this guy upwards. Lean left a little, and moving the body backwards, like, oh gosh. And down. And bring back that arm a bit. No, back the arm. And then this comes over a bit too. Save. So now... Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Alrighty. So we got that animated out. Yeah. Flump. There we go. And then I think I want these arms to still move about too. And then forward a bit too as the body kind of leans forward in a little bit and the head kind of just rolls around actually a little bit more let's have that head roll a little bit more bring it on down thank you for the follow there awesome beaver Bring this body down still, and bring those arms, definitely bring them as they f just kind of roll forward a bit. Yeah, there we go. And then, I think, now wrap here. And then right about here is when we're going to change cameras. So this camera. Uh, lock rock scale. Actually, let's do a little bit of flight here. Okay, good. And now let's go ahead and get rid of Jeff for right now. Where is Jeff? Jeff? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Mm, do, do, do. And move these guys on down. This guy on down. Feeding the pets? Oh, hey! No, that wasn't the feeding the pets noise. That was the uh, 10 bit sound. Well, thank you very much for the 10 bits. Uh, what are you making today? We are making a animation for the MC prep competition. Um, so actually, let me show you guys what we have so far. Uh, what frame rate are we at? We are at a pretty low frame rate, not ideal. Not completely ideal. Let's go ahead and save this. See what we can do here. So, yeah, the frame rate is pretty low right now. So we're going to show the animation. Show and see what we've gotten through so far. Uh, not stream resources. No, this is the same thing. See 3D rendering. Uh, projects. Um, this one renders for myself. We're gonna go through this really quickly and see where we're at so far. So this is what with the video we have so far.
that's where I have the rendering stop. And so far today we have, let's see here, where did we leave off? We left off right about, do, 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 about right here. Uh, yeah, really? I, I, I absolutely love it. I, I'm going to be using that a lot more inside of my animations for sure. Well, thank you again for some bits. I appreciate that. Wow, that sounds good. That was amazing. Yep. Mm. Head off. Keep, uh, keep mum company. All right, take care. Be safe. Hydrate. And right now, we are at this point where we kind of look up at the top. I'm going to have to pause every now and then in order to make sure that the audio is keeping up with the video since we're real-time rendering this. You know what they say. No, I don't. Yep. <laughs> yep, poop. crawling up the steps. That little mushroom down there twitches a little. And we grab the egg. Bring it together. Bring it on down. And then just as he noticed. I said. I said. said go. go. Go away! And then that guy steps on out with all the, the 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 color of that is just fantastic. Oh, I've got to see that again. Hold on. Wait. I guess I have to see that again. Let's uh, temple ceiling, jungle floor, sky and atmosphere. All right, and then rendered view. Where the guy just comes out and the darkness just envelops the behind him. Oh, that is that is awesome. And that head kind of just flops forward. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Temple and ceiling. Go back to this view that we can animate things in a proper speed. There we go. Okay, now that we have this camera set for this, we want to switch over to the other camera. Right about here. We want to go to camera Tia. And then, let's see here, control B. Go into this one, and uh, I'm gonna have to have on the jungle floor for sure. And there we go. I think, make sure that we're, we're not running into any bushes. There, oh. There, awesome. So that's gonna be our view once we come to here. And oh, that is that is just looming. Ah, uh, that is that is wonderful. I like that. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to change the angle a little bit though, because we're gonna have to see at least all of him, including the top of his head there. Um, now yeah, let's just, let's cut off their legs a little bit. Because that's fine. We can just cut off the legs a little bit. Alright, good. Right about there. Awesome. Hmm. <laughs> I know, right? More than expected in the, in the warden, eh? <laughs> mm, 
Everybody gangster until the wardens show up, right? Everybody gangster until the wardens show up. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and we've got to change Puka's expression from I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a, I can take anything from an expression of I can take anything to oh poop. And let's see here. So let's go ahead and we want the ears to stay normal and we want the eyes to change. Let's zoom in on the face here. And this is going to change to a worry. What does this do? What does that do? It, it, exactly. That's 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 what it does. It does a thingy. You have made it do a thingy. Uh, a little too big. I think normal is fine. Oh, <laughs> text to speech. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead and we're going to also change the the eyes here really quickly. Okay. And then put this on a keyframe and then bring it down to zero. Good. And then let's grab those body bones. The bada bones. And then let's see here. We want the lips. Scrab lip sync group select. And we want neutral. Uh actually we want the S sound. And then we want for the body. We're gonna want a frown. Lock rock scale. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We don't want an object transformation. We want a key bind, a, a key, f key shape transformation. We're gonna put a frown on that. Turn that frown no other direction but the other direction that it's currently going. Uh, and we're gonna, actually let's go with an uh. Go with an uh. And body bones now. Body bones. And then let's still be moving backwards a little bit. And rotating. Looking up. And then moving backwards still. Okay, and move these arms upwards. Uh, that's just one arm. What happened with the other arm? There you go. And then we want this tail to be tucked under a bit. Running with a tail between his legs. Right there, so that way we can see his expression. Cool. Oh, what do we need to do? 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 Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I wanted to do a little bit more of the voice acting thingy. It's like ah booger, ah booger, ah booger, ah. Booger. All right, good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and do the effect noise reduction. Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of the click here at the end. Good enough. And then file export audio to O Booger. Save. Alright, now we need to give the line to Puka. Let's just pop this into the audio editing. Alright, and we'll have a little bit of time here, and then we will bring in the line. Uh, 
Oh, booger right here. There we go. Display waveform. Ah, booger. Okay, and then I want these. This is, uh, <laughs> I thought this was, this was mildly, mildly funny, I thought. But we have these things right here. And we are going to lay out. We've got to grab these things, duplicate this, and bring it on over here. All right, and then here <laughs> all right I need to separate that out just a little bit so bug and then and then duplicate that and then bring it over here and I want that to start over again I want the animation to there we go good so be So I want it to go bug er bug er so I want it to There we go and now I want to have the the texture to do the same thing um Okay, so from here, I can grab this thing here. Okay, go, oh wait, 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 no. Right there goes light and then keyframe in and then keyframe down yeah in this direction okay where is it Ooh. so right here I want to have this keyframe so that it's off Ooh. and then bring it back down have it light up And then I want it to turn off again midway through the word. Uh, not quite what I'm wanting. Okay, and then turn it down again. Nope. Uh, something's weird here, and I don't like it don't like what's happening. Let me go to the animation really quickly and okay, go to this guy over here. I want to show everything. Where is it? Animation I want goodness sakes. Alright, this is irritating, and I want to fix this before I end the stream today, that's for sure. I definitely want to fix this. Aha, there it is. No, no, that's Pupil Fox. Dang it. Uh, where's the animation at? Scene. Mm-mm. It's not here. And I don't like that. Okay, I think it's these. I think it's these things right here. And this guy needs to be right here. Okay, so now, boog. Okay, now I want to grab these, duplicate these, and bring these over here. Actually, no. 
That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh, gloss. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, so now, now he goes, uh, bug -er. So now his, now his, his ears wobble and light up depending on the, on the syllables and the sounds of it. So bug, ah, uh, booger, ah, <laughs> uh, booger. <laughs> Said made. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be ending the stream. But okay, we'll get you Zed made out for you. Let's see your Zed made. Ending on the Zed made. There we go. Okay. Oh, and I think I got that all set up now. All right, so now we gotta get this guy to run down with Puka behind him. And then we've got to have him go through the portal, struggle with Jeff. I gotta see what I can do. What? Be, I gotta see what I can do between now and next time, because there's gonna be a lot. I think I'll be able to get these two running down to the to the exit and get him trapped under the door. I think I'll be able to do that, and we'll see what I can do after that too. <laughs> I don't sleep for an hour. A new thingy, yep, new thingy. Uh, alright, new commands, help points. Alrighty. So, I think that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and start getting things closed up, figure out who we can end up raiding. All right, so what are our options for people that can that we can raid? Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Well, thank you for being here, Jen. You've been more than enough help. You've been, you guys have been fantastic. Raid channel. Alright. I guess... Looks like Fibro Wolf is up. So I guess we're gonna go... On to... Fibro Wolf. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for... Hugs. Hugs! Alright, everybody. I will see you next time. Tomorrow, around the same time. We'll see if we can get this thing finished. Do 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 bum.